Hey everybody, Leo D here with another vlog and in this vlog I'm going to go over the steps that I take to upgrade Rekordbox from one version to another. Also in this vlog you'll see how I back up my Rekordbox database to multiple computers and also how I use my backup computer to test the connection between my laptop and all my other Rekordbox enabled devices before I even upgrade the software on my main computer. First off, let's talk about the hardware that I use. My main computer is an MSI 17 inch gaming computer. My backup computer is an MSI 15 inch computer. And then I also have a desktop that I have Rekordbox enabled on as well. Also on my home network, I have a Western Digital MyBook Live hard drive that is network enabled that I use for storage. I've been burned by the record box updates in the past. Uh, if you're like me, you use a lot of the settings that are available within the software, like the MyTag settings, saving hotkey points, saving loops, etc. And so I know that after certain updates, some of those features can be lost. So you want to make sure that you take a backup of everything before you even start this. So here's the current state of my hardware. Um, on my main computer, I'm being prompted that the record box has released a new upgrade, version 5.85. Um, I only have the performance license enabled on my main computer and my backup computer. This computer right here that I just used for research and testing only has export mode, which is the free download version of Rekordbox. But all three of them are getting prompted that the update is available. So the first thing I'm going to do is back up the Rekordbox database. To do that, I'm going to click on File, Library, Backup Library, uh, hit OK on the pop-up. Uh, now, I don't want to back up my music collection. I'm going to do that in a different manner. So I'm going to say no on the backup collection question. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the zip file that gets created. Okay, once that zip file is created, I'm going to go ahead and copy that and place it on my shared drive, which I've already done. Um, I know I'm on my shared drive because it's on my local network. Now I'm ready to actually back up the actual physical music files. Um, I keep all my music files in one main folder and then there's subfolders from there. So very simple, I can just come in here, select all, copy, and then go out to my shared drive where I have a similar folder set up. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste and overwrite everything. So once that's done, what I've basically done is taken the Rekordbox database, which contains all the metadata that Rekordbox uses, and backed it up off of this computer, put it on a shared folder for distribution to my other computers, and then I've taken the physical music files, copied them off of this hard drive, and put them also on another folder in that shared drive so that I could distribute them to the other computers. The way I have the music folder set up as a shared folder, I'm able to connect it to this desktop as a local drive because I set it up as a network drive. So when the computer boots up, it automatically accesses that folder. So technically, the, at this point, the music that this com desktop accesses is up to date. Now what I need to do is copy the zip drive, copy the zip folder from the shared drive over to here and restore it within Rekordbox. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it from that shared folder over to my local drive. Once that file is transferred, I'm going to start up Rekordbox, click on File, Library, Restore Library. I'm going to click OK on the Restore Collection question. I'm going to navigate to the zip file and it's going to restore all the metadata in Rekordbox. So at this point on my desktop, I've restored the database within the Rekordbox software. But I do run into this one situation because on this desktop, the music is on a shared folder and not locally connected or on the physical drive of the computer. When I double click a file, it tells me that the file cannot be found. Um, and it'll do this for all the files. So to fix this is very simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all of them. I'm gonna click on track and then relocate and I'm gonna find the location of that one file that very first file that I was trying to find trying to load I 
happened to be a song by The Weeknd called In Your Eyes. Once I find it, I'm going to go ahead and hit open. And then Rekordbox will ask me if that's the location I should use for this song and for everything going forward. I'm going to say yes. And now it's going to go through and search and repoint all the pointers within the database to that network drive. And the reason why that's happening is because I've restored a database from a other computer who, where the music is on a different location. Now I have to go ahead and repoint all the pointers to that same location. The reason why I can do this and it'll work is because I have the music folders and the location of those files identical from system to system. Once Rekordbox has relocated all my files, I go ahead and hit OK. And now I can, and now I can click on any file and it will pop up, including that one file at the beginning. There it is right there. So the one thing I want to do as I back up and restore the database from computer to computer is to make sure that all the metadata that I have is there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the track filter and just go ahead and filter down through here and make sure that there's a good quantity of files that I'm looking for. Um, just make sure that they're there. Now that I've confirmed that the desktop is ready to go and everything is there, I'm ready to update the software. So I'm going to go ahead and click on help. Rekordbox Update Manager, and then run the Rekordbox Update. Okay, now that the upgrade is complete, uh, a couple of things that I like to do to make sure that the software is running at its optimum is uh, I will go right-click the icon, uh, go into the advanced setting, tell it to run as a ad, run as if an administrator had kicked it off, and then I also like to make the window maximize when it pops up, and then lastly, um, I like to make the software run with the high performance graphic settings uh, on this desktop what I do is I right click the desktop go to my NVIDIA control panel click on the program settings click on add navigate to the Rekordbox exe file and then make sure that it is using high-end graphics, the high-end quality. And we're good. Now I can start the application. And again, what I want to make sure is, one, my hot cues are there. Everything's good. I want to make sure that my metadata is there, my, uh, my tags, uh, that there's a good number of them. So far, so good. So, so far, the upgrade has passed this test. I have my backup laptop set up identically to my main laptop, which means that it has the same folder for the, all my music, just like the other one does. Also, this laptop has access to my shared folder, but it's not automatically connected to it. So I need to navigate to my shared folder, go into the music drive, select all, copy it, and then paste it all and overwrite what's in my backup computer. Once the music files are copied, I also need to bring over the zip file, which is the database. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that over from the shared folder and put that on my local drive now that I've restored the music from my shared drive onto my backup laptop I'm ready to restore the zip drive the record box database on this machine as well so again I'm going to click on file library restore hit OK on the record box collection navigate to the zip folder and let it restore so one different situation between the desktop and one of these laptops, uh, again, because of the location of the music files, once I restore the database on the laptop, if I double click on a file, it knows where it is because again, the location of the file is identical to the location where it was when I took the backup. So there's no problem, I don't have to relocate anything. 
at this point again I'm going to just confirm that the metadata is there I see all my files I see my hotkeys are there so my laptop is ready to be upgraded so again I'm going to click on the help update record box manager and start the update now that the update is complete on my laptop I'm ready to test and make sure that it can connect to all my record box enabled devices the very first one that I want to test it with is my XDJ R1 to do this I'm going to change my uh, mode to performance mode and I'm going to go ahead and connect my XDJ R1 press the MIDI button on the R1 make sure that I can connect that's me scrolling up and down through the controller make sure that it plays alright moving on to the next I also have a record box DVS license so I want to make sure that that's working as well to make sure of that I'm going to come up here click on the sprocket click on DVS start the vinyl enable the DVS function and make sure that I'm getting a good tone and as you see it's responsive playing through the lap playing from the laptop to the mixer I also have a DGA SP1 and that's working as well I know I'm putting a lot of steps into this to get from point A to point B but these are the safeguards that I have in place to protect all the hard work that I put into my collection okay with all that completed it's I think it's safe to say that I can upgrade my main computer to this version of Rekordbox so those are the steps that I take every time I upgrade Rekordbox from one version to the next uh, you might seem like it's a lot but it's something that I put in place again to safeguard myself um, I've lost a lot of metadata uh, through upgrades uh, luck luckily I found a way to restore that you know, what you do is uh, if you had uh, your metadata exported onto a USB uh, for use with a CDJ or something like that you can plug that back in and click the update collection and all that information is saved back into your hard drive luckily so uh, thanks uh, for watching uh, shout out to the record box DJ user group on Facebook I do like reading those posts and helping out as much as I can uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, if you have any questions or comments put it down below um, I'll have some more vlogs coming out in the future uh, stay safe everybody thanks for watching bye